Saturday morning sunrise. See that up there? It's my neighborhood teepee. Y'all ain't got a teepee in your neighborhood? You probably in the wrong neighborhood, in my opinion. You should uh, should be living nowhere. You ain't got a teepee hanging around at the top of the hill. It's abandoned. It's been abandoned for a few years now. Hey, uh, there was a guy that built it there. That's my outhouse there. Anyways, I have been here for one year as of the, I think this is my one year anniversary, let me see here, nope, three days away, so in three days, I will have owned this land for one year. And uh, most of that time I spent uh, elsewhere, but I've probably put in a good three months worth of work on this property. So, just thought I'd do a video of a quick walkthrough of everything I've accomplished so far. Or, um, I don't even know if it's an accomplishment, it's just kind of whatever strikes my fancy. As far as getting this thing up and running self-sustainable, I work on. Uh, the outhouse is one. That outhouse will probably soon either be reworked. I'm going to probably take a 55-gallon barrel and uh, bury it um, right downhill here. And then I'll have to run a, a pipe somewhere. Where it can uh, be a leech field. And uh, yeah, I'm going to bury a little 55 gallon barrel and put an actual toilet in my outhouse. Or maybe if I've got an actual toilet, maybe I'll put it up here closer to where I'm at. I might actually put it up here. But let me get out my truck and do a quick walkthrough. As we enjoy the sunshine, the sunrise a little bit this morning. So, all of this on top of the land, the first couple months, this all took maybe a month to put in. Um, obviously, it's nothing uh, permanent, but I uh, got a tree. The tree's not doing too good. Got my garden. Got this little tarp building. And I'm I am thinking about coming and roofing it with metal sheets. Uh I see some uh people trying to sell some scrap metal sheets. So I might might get a good deal on that, but I may just leave it like this because I kind of feel like if anybody government wise was to come and say hey you're not allowed to have a building out here without our permission um, I can just tell them well that's not a permanent building that's a tent you can have a tent on your property without government permission right and this is my little outdoor kitchen again kind of same same logic here is it's not permanent and therefore uh, the ever encroaching police state can't actually really um, tie my hands up. Now, I got the counter, got the grill, got a little bit of storage. Uh, I am working on a uh, mobile kitchen sink. It's going to be an undermount. It'll have under it, I'll put a, a bucket for now just to kind of recycle that water. As, and I'm not going to use any kind of harmful cleaners or anything like that. All this scrap material 
except the wood i kind of buy the wood in bulk and get it for real cheap so in reality um other than maybe my solar which i built prior to being on the property uh the solar and the trailer and everything was probably about 10k uh which i did prior to coming out here and then everything else i've put on here is mostly just scrap material and kind of bulk lumber that i got for decent prices so i've really only spent maybe two or three thousand and that this tin area is even though it's chock full of stuff right now it's probably about 600 square foot uh it's uh about 24 foot by no it's more than 24 it's uh 24 30 32 foot i think my math's right there by 24 sorry it's by 16 16 yeah 16 32 by 16 what is that about um 500 600 and then i've added on a couple little other spaces uh, i got the trailer out here from texas uh last weekend and my bike i need to do some work on my bike to, but not much just keep it rolling for now um <clears throat> Got a shower in, got these two tanks for water in my garden set up. Although my poor little garden has been having animals tear it apart. Um, it hasn't died yet. I got more and more tomatoes popping up. Uh, destroyed my cauliflower. My cauliflower was doing so good. But they destroyed the cauliflower and now the uh, squash is starting to shine. Um, anyways. <clears throat> that is all what I've worked on for the past couple months. A couple few months now. Uh, the last couple months I only come out here on the weekends for maybe one day a week kind of working on it and uh now uh prior to that i had come out here and spent a uh, couple months putting in this underground part i'm gonna walk down here to it my shower's not working right i still got a few things to try to do to get it working right since i used all scrap material mostly it was all stuff that had already broken and uh i was just seeing because if i have to i can rebuild like the the shower valve and all that but i'd rather just keep it easy keep it something simple but <clears throat> down here so that's my uh that's about, this is as far as I can drive in. And then the slope here becomes too great. You can't really get a vehicle down here at all. Um, not safely anyways. Maybe if I uh, was doing some extreme off-road Jeep stuff, I could get down here. But even then, uh, wouldn't want to really do that with this slope, with this uh, steep grade. So the top of it, the grass hadn't even grown back on yet. So you can kind of see uh, where the grass is shorter there is the top. Um, I did get it all wired up. Got the wire popping out here with some lights and uh, an electric outlet down there. And then I had a... Uh, kind of built back this little rock wall with all the rocks that i had pulled out of the ground but i dug all this out you can see the corner of the building here 
where it's kind of rinsed away. Now, it wasn't waterproof, but my door's really not very camouflaged, but everything else kind of kind of camouflage. So, um, oh, I forgot I have all that cement stacked up on it for now. So, with that cement stacked on it, I'm not going to kind of walk y'all through it yet, but this is going to be all future projects, so I'm going to end up running that farther back this way and uh, kind of going tunneling now instead of uh, what I did before, which is is just... Uh, uh, just dug down and uh, opened it up but it's still good to walk on so far but it does it does take on water this it's only 50 square foot in here and it is taking on water so that's kind of unfortunate um, so that's about three months worth of work so far. All of this. Now, uh, I've been putting my money in other stuff for a while. But now it looks like I'm kind of freed up to, to really start um, putting my money into this. And uh, since I'm wanting to do most of this underground here. I'm going to get a mini excavator uh, as soon as possible. So that'll be uh, my next li little bit of money will be going towards that. And uh, this area in another couple months, uh, once the snows fall, just ends up impassable. Um, can't even get in here. So, I'll probably be getting a snowmobile, and uh, that way I can park my truck down where they do winter maintenance, and just ride up here. Little rabbits all over, eating my vegetables in my vegetable garden and shit. <clears throat> and, uh... Build some shelving and stuff inside of here. But yeah, it's uh for only having worked on it for a few months, I've gotten quite a ways. But I will need quite a bit more work. I'm probably only <clears throat> an eighth of the way to uh a uh, reasonable kind of point where the majority of the work is done. And, um, out of breath. So I probably need a uh, couple more years of just straight work in here. And then all the money that it takes is uh, probably going to be I figured it out to be about $50,000 to get it where I want it and I'm I'm super uh kind of creative when it comes to not just blowing money on really expensive items that perform one or two tasks that I can actually kind of engineer my own way of doing without spending quite as much money so i really think fifty thousand dollars and this will be a kind of self-sustaining property for me um not counting the cost of the property itself uh but we'll see i'll probably i'll probably end up putting more money into it than that on less useful things just more luxury items just to make it a little more comfortable <clears throat> and then maybe even 
maybe even getting splurging a little and getting some, you know, nicer things when I could actually create my own systems that were less expensive. And uh, that's a electric water sewage and then all the building which I'm going underground which makes it uh, five times more work than it normally would be um, so <clears throat> I don't mind working on it though. like I say I've only really got to put another couple years worth of work into it to get it to a really awesome spot I'm pretty sure that's that's my estimation right now and I may be overestimating that slightly uh, once I have that um, excavator I really think I'll I'll be able to rip and run on a lot of this stuff that I'm just kind of biding my time but uh, now this area not too far from here is being built up and it being uh, going up in value so people moving in so I really want to get this done prior to any kind of crowd being up here where I'm at and that's that's my that's my uh one of my big motivators there is I'd like to be able to get most of my stuff done prior to having a million neighbors I don't mind having a million neighbors I just want to make sure that the property is to a certain point prior to that. Um, and when I say a million neighbors, there's not going to be a million neighbors out here. But I don't, I don't mind this turning into like a residential area necessarily. But anyways, uh, yep. So far, I'm about. Uh, I'd say, not counting the, I'm about $5,000 in, this is not, this is not a, something I would send to the IRS or anything, this is not keeping account of everything I've done out here, uh, I've got a lot of scrap material, that I'm repurposing out here. So I'm about $5,000 in on um, this property. And that's not counting the property itself. Uh, so that's three months worth of work spread out over time. Um, and five thousand dollars and just a whole bunch of creativity and anyways i think i think i you know as we go here it just becomes more and more habitable and it doesn't take much money it does take a lot of of uh planning and uh i feel like i've i've really gotten lucky and everything's kind of gone in a good direction for what I'm uh, trying to do so uh, haven't ran into too many major issues and I'm just going to keep moving forward on it and just keep making videos uh, 
of what I'm building out here. I'm not I'm not gonna get unless I can start getting paid, which I don't think through YouTube. I'm not gonna put too much effort into videos, but uh as far as turning a camera on every once in a while and kind of showing y'all what I'm up to. That's fine by me. Um Oh, it's been rainy, so I haven't really got much done this this uh, week. I took the week off, and I did get a lot done, but it's been the driving down to Texas and back, and uh, driving around doing stuff like that. Spending all my money on stuff. It's coming along. We getting there. Alright. Take it easy guys. Talk to you later. Bye.